Welcome to the Smiles Are Wild channel brought to you by Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. My name is Amy Morgan. We will be bringing you fun and educational videos weekly to help you take better care of your child's oral health care needs at home and on the go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of our new videos. And remember, it doesn't really matter how you take care of your teeth as long as you take care of them from the beginning. Um, as we all know, February is Black History Month. So today I would like to highlight an important figure who is also pretty much a hero to me. So for today, our highlight is Dr. May Jemison. She is an American engineer, physician, and former NASA astronaut. She was actually the first African-American female to travel into space when she served as a mission specialist aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. So not only is she this amazing person, she's worked for the Peace Corps, she's incredibly smart, she started some nonprofits that are gonna help um, with the technology and everything that we need to get to space over the lifetime, I think it's like 100 years or something like that. Um, she's just super phenomenal, but also I happen to have a personal connection to her. So fun fact for this highlight is that she was not only the first real astronaut to appear on Star Trek, she is also happens to be a part of my husband's family. So she was roommates with my mother-in-law in college. And then that then termed her the godmother for my husband's sister. So my sister-in-law's godmother. And I actually got to meet Dr. Mae Jemison last February at my sister-in-law's wedding. It was super phenomenal. She is an amazing person. She was so much fun. I have to admit, I was super duper nervous about meeting her, but I did. And just for all of you, for the proof, I will put my picture with her in the comments at the end of the broadcast. Again, today we are highlighting Dr. Mae Jemison. She was the first African-American female in space. If you would like to find out more about Dr. Mae Jemison, you can find that by following on her website at drmay.com. All right, so now what we wanna talk about today is some more fun stuff. And so we wanna talk about our Build-A-Bear giveaway. So since December, we've been going over and over that we have our Build-A-Bear giveaway. We've done some online forms where you can sign up and win those. We've also had them displayed in our office and we had those displayed about the middle of December to the end of January. So any patients that came into the practice were eligible to register for that as well. So we had a total of 13 bears. Two of them are the same. And I keep saying bears, they're really stuffed animals because some of them are llamas and unicorns and baby Yoda <clears throat> and the Mandalorian, different things like that, a moose. So they're not all bears. But what I really wanna make sure is that we highlight today of the reason why we do the giveaway. So we know it's super fun for you to be able to sign up and your child possibly win one of the bears, but we wanna make sure that you understand the why behind the giveaway. So for the past several years, I believe we're going on five plus years, if not longer, we have had this program where the doctors pick out an animal and then they make its twin. So they build the animal, they clothe it, they give it its accessories, everything and then they make its twin. We then give away one of those twins, one of the pairs to a patient in the practice or to anyone that signed up in our online contest. And then the other twin is given to a child in need. And so we hope that if you are the winner of one of these animals today, that you will share this story with your child to let them know that they have a twin along with them out in the world and that a time in need when this child needed it most that their twin was there to comfort them. We donate all of our animals to the Children's Safety Center. That is a program in Springdale that helps with child abuse and sexual abuse with children. They see these kids, they do forensic interviews, they can do the police interviews there. They basically have a whole system set up to where the child is safe and well taken care of. And so we fully support the Children's Safety Center. I think we've been on with them for goodness, like since 2012 or 2013. And they have a big fundraiser every year called Dream Big. We are hoping that in 2021, we can do something live, but we don't know. Last year's virtual event was amazing. But we hope when you're considering where maybe you want to give donations to, or you want to look into volunteering or anything like that, to go check them out. And I will have the link for their volunteer opportunities in the broadcast or on the comments as soon as the broadcast is over. I know right now they're looking for like, you can follow them on Instagram and they're looking for like water bottles, baby clothes, in, disinfecting wipes, 
gas cards, grocery cards, things like that. So they they not only come along the chi- come alongside the child, they also help with any family members who may be involved with taking care of that child as well. So it's a super awesome program. We're really glad that they're here to take care of the kids in Northwest Arkansas. And so we do what we can monetarily as well as just supporting them by talking about them and letting everyone know what their services are and why they're here. They also do free child abuse prevention programs and they do them remotely. So you can check that out on their website as well. So now for the time that everyone's been waiting for is to see who's going to be our winner. So this year, our, all of our bears are in these lovely buckets. So we're going to start with Bentonville. So if you came into the Bentonville office, your slips are in this one. So this is going to be for Yoda. So this is for the baby Yoda in Bentonville. Okay, let me make sure that's right because I'm second guessing myself and I want to make sure that that's the way that I did it and I'm pretty sure I did. This is. Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Sorry. Sorry for the hesitation. Okay, so if you signed up to win the, the Grogu as he's known on the Mandalorian or the Baby Yoda, there are two Baby Yodas. This is for the one only for Bentonville. It does not include any of the online um slips okay so i'm gonna zoom here i'm gonna look away so that we're just drawing the name and the winner for the bentonville baby yoda is landon king so congratulations to landon we will contact you guys all right so that is for bentonville then right now we are going to do our other bentonville bear which is the moose. So we had a really cute, super cute, cuddly moose with a razorback shirt on. He's so cute. And he had overalls on. He's personally my favorite. But we have all the names in here for that. And so again, this is for the moose. I'm going to look away. All right, let's see who our winner is for this. Congratulations to Brinley Dixon. You have won the stuffed moose. Again, we will contact you. If you are the parent of Brindley and you're watching this and you want to comment below that you won, feel free to do so. We will be contacting you at the number on the slip. All right. And then for the other Bentonville bear, including our online contest slip, this is for the Wonder Woman rabbit. So it's a cute, super cute rabbit. She's got basically, she's blue and she's got stars all over and a Wonder Woman costume. Super, super fun. Personally, one of my favorites as well. So I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan. And so this has all the slips for online as well as in office. So this is for the Wonder Woman rabbit. All right. <clears throat> and the winner for that is Krisha Nagabagi. Krisha Nagabagi. Okay. And we will be calling the winner for that. All right. Now... We are going to get over to our Fayetteville office. In Fayetteville, I have to dump all of it. There's a lot because we see a lot more patients in Fayetteville than we do in Bentonville. So we're going to do this as quickly as we can. But right now, we are going to be drawing for. Get to this. So if you were in the office and you just put down number nine, you should know that this is for Olaf. So this was Dr. Aaron's pick. So we're gonna dump all the forms. This includes the online answers that are all split up in here. Everybody's out of the bag, let me make sure. <clears throat> all right, there's no one left in the bag, okay? So we're gonna stir all these up. If you're watching, tell me where you're watching from and what bear you might have entered for so that we can keep up with that, okay? All right, here we go. Let's see who our winner is. This is for Olaf, hi, Crystal. All right, so this is for Olaf, and the winner of Olaf is Whitney Lopez. So congratulations to Whitney. You have won the Olaf bear or animal or stuffed animal, whatever you want to call it. All right, <clears throat> so that is for Olaf. Again, and Whitney was an online um, entry, so congratulations to Whitney for doing that. Thank you for filling out the form. I know online we had over a 1,000 entries. and um, so in office, I'm not sure how many, but goodness, it was a lot. 
all right, we're going to save the last baby, the other baby Yoda until last because he was the most popular and has a ton of entries for that. All right, let's see what else I got here. All right, so this is for the Polar Express Bear. So if you were in the office, you saw him. He has the little robe like the boy wears in the Polar Express, and he even has the bell. Super, super cute. And let's see who won that. Again, this includes online entries. Oh, Bree, Stitch in the pajamas. Goodness gracious, he's so cute. I hope you win. All right, here we go. Right now, we're doing the Polar Express. There's so many answers in here, y'all, and I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to make sure I'm being fair. Okay, um, let's see. Jackson Lassie. Jackson Lassie is the winner of the Polar Express Bear. So congratulations. All right, let's get him put in there. All right, now. <clears throat> Let's see. Number two is the Mandalorian bear. Okay, if anybody's watching that show, put in the comments that you're watching. I absolutely have loved the show, and I loved Star Wars growing up, and I've loved Star Wars as an adult, even all the new releases. However, they just, something about Mandalorian, they just did that show right, and I can't really explain it. My husband can definitely explain it more than I can, but they've just done the right thing with that one. I can't really do it. Again, these are in-office entries from the Fayetteville location plus online. So we're going to draw. And our winner, our winner is Bryson Van Vorst. And this was an online entry. So congratulations to Bryson. And that was for the Mandalorian bear. Then next, y'all are going to have to forgive me. There are a lot of entries and I'm trying not to. <clears throat> drop them all. All right, here we go. Number six. Number six is Stitch. Okay, Bree, here we go. Let's see. I'm sorry if you don't win. I'm excited if you do win. I'm, I'm excited for the winner, no matter who it is. But let's see. All the entries are in here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to close my eyes. Let it all fall out of my hand until I have one. Okay. And the winner for this one is Evelyn Meeks. Evelyn Meeks. So, Evelyn, you have won the stitch. Sorry, Bree. I tried. Okay. So, let's keep going with the drawing because I'm sure everyone is excited to see who won what. There's so many of them. It's so fun. So, fun fact, when the doctors are doing these, it's hilarious because they, this year we couldn't go in the store because of COVID. And so trying to do it online was absolutely hilarious. And um, they're really good at dentistry, but like picking out accessories and like doing all that was hilarious. Okay, so number 10, this is the Pumbaa. So it's an actual Pumbaa animal um, character from Lion King, but because we're in hog country, we put a Razorback shirt on him and he's holding the football. So he really looks like a football player and it's the most adorable thing. And we did that one last year as well, and it was very popular. So we went ahead and repeated it this year because we're hog fans and we have to support them. All right, so this is for the hog. Here we go. Let's see. My gosh, there's a lot of entries in here. Big hog fans around here, I guess. Okay, here we go. The winner for this one is Alan Pacheco. Alan Pacheco. Sorry, Alan Pacheco. Okay. Congratulations to Alan. We'll be contacting your parent for that. Unless you are the parent and you put your name totally fine as well. All right, here we go. Number four. Number four, oh Lord, is the rabbit mermaid. So Dr. Karen picked this one out. And so we found a rabbit and laying on its side. And when we, you can put a mermaid little skirt on her. So she looks like a mermaid and she even has like a little treasure box. Super adorable. All right, so this is for the rabbit mermaid. Here we go, make sure I've got number four in here. Yes, and all the website entries are in here. Just wanna make sure everybody knows that that is what is happening. And our winner for this is going to be Brianna Rogers, Brianna Rogers. And that is an online entry as well. So congratulations to Brianna. Again, you gave us your information when you signed up. 
So we had your phone number, or if you were in office, we should be able to see anything in the system as well. All right, so we have three more. <clears throat> Remember, I'm holding the last baby Yoda until the very end. So number five here is, hold on a minute, because we're backwards. So Evelyn, I apologize. Evelyn won the horse. I apologize. Bree, you still have a chance. So Evelyn Meeks actually won the horse, not Stitch. So this is going to be for Stitch. And I apologize. Things were a little out of order. But again, Evelyn won the horse. And this is going to be for Stitch now. So Bree, you still have a chance if you're watching. Here we go. And I apologize about that. These stay in Fayetteville and then they have to message me things and the handwriting's a little bit off. Wasn't my handwriting. We won't blame that person though. They were just trying to help. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we're doing here. This is for Stitch, okay? Stitch in the pajamas who was so stinking cute. I couldn't stand it. The winner for this one is Brianna Waits. Brianna Waits has won Stitch, okay? All right, and then the penultimate one, number eight is the unicorn. So if you saw the unicorn, very rainbow-tastic. Dr. Leah picked that one out. She was very specific about making sure it had wings. It was, all, it was a whole thing, super duper cute. And then I'm, I'm sorry, we have two more. Goodness, y'all, I am a hot mess this year. Okay. So let's get that in here. So again, number eight, this is for the unicorn. We still have the mama and baby Yoda to draw for. So this is for the unicorn that Dr. Leah picked out. And the winner for this one is going to be, oh my, so many names, Lillian Wimmer. So congratulations to Lillian Wimmer. You've won the unicorn. And again, if you're watching and you are a winner, we will be contacting you to pick these up and we can have them available in each location where you're closest to. However, um, if you need it moved to a different location for pickup, if you're an online winner, then um, it may take a day or two for it to be couriered there. So just letting you know that. All right, so here we go. This is the llama. The llama was actually a rainbow llama. Also super cute, Dr. Aaron. Um, she is one of our pediatric dentists here and she just loves rainbows and all kinds of different fun, crazy stuff. If you follow us on social media, you've probably seen her silly shoes. Um, she's super fun, but she picked out this llama and insisted that the llama had pink eyeglasses. So the llama has pink eyeglasses that come with it. So cute. All right. So here we go. All the winners are in here. Got my winner in my hand. And the winner for the llama is Kinley Vaught. Kinley Vaught is the winner of the llama. Congratulations to Kinley. All right, so here we go. Last but not least, all of the entries, they're all shoved in here. This is for Grogu or Baby Yoda, however you know him, from Mandalorian. And we've already drawn one of the winners for that out of our Bentonville location. And then this is going to be Fayetteville and online, as you can see, oh gosh, they all landed on my desk, don't worry, they're all here. Um, there's so many entries in here, you guys. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a drawing and we're gonna pick the winner. Are we ready? This is for baby Yoda. Here we go. All right, the winner for this one is Edward Alva. Edward Alva is the winner for this. Ashley, if you're watching, is that your child? I don't want to mistake that, but just in case, Edward Alva is the winner of the second Baby Yoda. So congratulations to him and to every one of our winners. Again, I'm going to go back through them. They will not be in any certain order or just in case. Yay, Ashley. Okay, awesome. Ashley, I will call you in a little bit to talk to you about how to pick that up. So don't come to the office yet. Don't call the office. I will call you here in just a little bit, okay? So Edward won Baby Yoda. Brianna won Stitch. Brianna Waits. Evelyn Meeks won the horse that was actually made by Dr. Courtney because she loves horses. Kinley Vaught won the llama. Um, let's see, the unicorn. 
was won by Lillian Wimmer. And Mandalorian was won by Bryson Vaughn Vorst. And Alan Pacheco won the hog. Brianna Rogers won the mermaid. Which is number four. I'm just trying to put these in order as we go here. And then um, Jackson Lassie won the Polar Express Bear. So, again, that's Jackson Lassie won the Polar Express Bear. Okay. And then, let's see, Whitney Lopez won Olaf. So, congratulations to Whitney. And let's see here. If I'm remembering all of these correctly. See y'all. And then Bentonville, their numbers are different. The winners for those are Brinley Dixon, Landon King, and Krisha Nogabagi. Okay? So congratulations to all of our winners. We hope that you all enjoyed entering the contest and seeing the Bears online. We will obviously be doing that again this year, we hope. Um, again, we are back. We will be doing our Facebook Lives weekly. Um, we do have some special guests lined up for next for the next couple of weeks. We're super excited to bring you some more content that will not only educate you as a parent, but also empower you to take better care of your child's oral health care. We want to be there. We want to be a resource for you. We also know as parents, you can be super busy and sometimes staying on top of those things is not easy. So we hope to provide you fun tips and tricks so that you can continue to take care of your child's teeth, not only at home, but when you're on the go. We'll see you guys again next week. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and go visit us on smilesorwild.com.